Integration is not exactly a novelty for the European Committee of the Regions. On the contrary, it has been and will continue to be a matter of priority for our institution. This is only the first discussion on integration and migration of the several we will have in the next couple of days. In the context of the European Committee of the Regions plenary session tomorrow and Thursday, we will discuss the reform of the common European asylum system, the integration of third country nationals, where I am the rapporteur, and the entry and residence of third country nationals for the purposes of highly skilled employment. We will also have an exchange of views with Commissioner Avramopoulos on Thursday morning, also very interesting. And of course, we won't stop here. The European Committee of the Regions has always given high priority to questions related to migration. More work is due in the coming months on this topic. In this regard, we have always played an active part in the area of integration, as demonstrated by the adoption of pioneering opinion already in 2009, that has served as input for our present opinion on action plans for the integration of third country nationals. This opinion, for which I am the rapporteur, welcomes the European Commission's action plan on the integration of third country nationals, given the ever-increasing diversity of European society and the need to fully integrate newcomers into that society mm -hmm. and emphasizes that integration is a two-way process that should form part of the framework of rights and obligations for the newcomer and the host society, both of which to have, sh which to have, which have to shoulder their responsibilities. We take the view that integration is by definition an area in which the question of subsidiarity is of particular importance. There is no one solution that can be imposed from above by the European Union. Quit re reverse, it's by guaranteeing a wide range of diverse solutions that we will be able to promote effective integration policies. Integration cannot happen without active promoting cultural dialogue, diversity and social cohesion. We believe that European structural funds should be increasingly mobilized to support integration of migrants and we think that the new urban agenda has big potential in this regard. The European Committee of the Regions has also played an active role in the network of national contact points for integration and plans to continue its role in the in European integration network in the same way. Although the challenges may not be new, they are at much larger scale than a few years ago uh, before and more in certain cities and regions than in others. In Brussels, we know a lot about it. Although the challenges may not be new, they are at a much larger scale than a few years before, and more in certain cities and regions than in others. We have a bit experience here in Brussels. The high cost of non-integration calls for each and every one of us to increase our efforts to seek solutions. It's only by sharing information and good practices that we will manage to do this. The challenges of integration are big and so wide-ranging that it becomes vital for us to find out what's being done by others and how we can approve our policies and practices. Migration is intrinsically multiplicated and does not correspond to just one type. There are countries of origins, of transit and of destination, inevitably with different challenges of their own. Migration conditions and the reasons for selection, each particular route also vary. It is therefore only by finding out about good practices on the part of each local community in integrating migrants in the fields of health, education, labor market, schools and sports, that we will be in position to propose constructive solutions. We have to empower newcomers by identifying the best they can offer to our societies and what our societies can offer to them. 
question of the skills is of utmost importance and it's unnecessary to stress the need to further invest in language training, in new technologies and in continuous training. The European Committee of the Regions is a consultative body of the European Union and is the institutional voice in Brussels of regional and local elected representatives. We are the ones who are in the front line when it comes to dealing with the challenges of integration, all the more so at times of increased arrivals. Very often we have to respond and come up with practical solutions well before the central authorities can take action. This integration forum has immense potential and we can and must all make us of this in order to build Europe that is built on fundamental norms and values and that welcomes newcomers welcome, <laughs> with open arms when they want to be part of this society. Integration is key if we want to strengthen social co cohesion in our communities and isn't that exactly what we want? Ladies and gentlemen, the European Commission has recently published an action plan on the integration of third country nationals. The challenges of integration call for innovative and creative solutions and the involvement of everyone. Let us be under no illusion. Without financial and human resources, integration policies are doomed to fail. EU funding needs to, be, needs to be made available to regional and local authorities, as they are the real drivers of integration. The European Committee of the Regions has recently organized, together with the European Association for Local Democracy, a conference in Tunis on circular migration. Today, integration is not anymore a challenge just for destination countries. It also requires the involvement of countries of origin and transit countries. That is why the European Committee of the Region has been calling for immigration and integration partnerships involving local and regional authorities from all the stakeholders involved. We believe we are in the right direction and our cooperation with partners such as uh, Euro Chambers and the European mm -hmm. Training mm -hmm. Foundation to empower newcomers are good steps. I am delighted that you are all here today and I hope that this forum can come up with practical proposals to help us successfully tackle one of the greatest challenges to move forward with integration and community building. Thank you very much for your attention.